Hello people, in this video we want to look at cyanide poisoning under forensic topic. The chapter name is asphyxiant. So learn more about this, especially the treatment they have asked. So you can focus on treatment, okay? So uh, what is uh, the cyanide poisoning? Cyanide poisoning results from inhalation of hydrogen cyanide gas or ingestion of hydrocyanic acid in liquid form or salts of cyanide solid form. So basically if you are taking gas, it can be <clears throat> hydrogen cyanide, liquid can be hydrocyanic acid, hydro, hydrocyanic acid and solid can be salts of cyanide. Okay, so this will be the solid form. So cyanide poisoning, poisoning call, uh, is results because of the inhalation of hydrogen cyanide or ingestion of hydrocyanic acid or salts of cyanide that is in solid form. Okay, now look at the mechanism of action. How does it actually poison us? So basically cyanide, it inhibits cytochrome, cytochrome oxidase. Okay. So there is no oxidative phosphorylation, so no ATP production. So you understood right, at a cellular respiration level itself it is killing. So inhibit cytochrome oxidase enzyme. Toxic effects of cyanide are attributed to production of histotoxic anoxia. So there will be histotoxic anoxia. So there will be no cellular respiration, correct? Now what are the clinical features? What and all will this man suffer? Let's bring out the man. First look at the CNS effects, headache, anxiety, agitation, confusion. So what and all is happening here? <coughs> the CNS, so there is going to be headache, anxiety, agitation, confusion, convulsions, coma, all the C's you can write. Then vertigo, fainting, he will, he will faint and all that. Then coming to the cardiovascular system, in the cardiovascular system there is hypertension, reflex uh, bradycardia. So first there is hypertension, then there is reflex bradycardia, there is uh, tachycardia and hypotension. What is this? They are mentioning everything. Then there is ventricular dysrhythmia, then dysarrhythmia they are saying. Then respiratory, what happens to the lungs here, respiratory system, tachypnea, dyspnea, pulmonary edema, bitter Almond odor of breath. Oh, that is something unique. Bitter almond odor of breath. Okay, bitter almond odor of breath is in cyanide poisoning. Okay, then moving on. What happens to the GIT? So the GIT, bitter acidic burning taste. Bitter acidic burning taste, taste will be there. Guys, bitter acidic burning taste. GIT we are talking about, constriction and numbness of throat, constriction and numbness of throat, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, there will be vomiting, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain will be there. Now coming to skin, what will happen to the skin? In the skin due to cyanide poisoning, there will be brick red discoloration of skin. Guys, this is very important in cyanide poisoning, there will be brick red discoloration of the skin, pay attention here. In cyanide poisoning, there is brick red discoloration of the skin. Brick red will be actually brown, like something like this. Brick red discoloration of the skin is cyanide poisoning. Then uh, even the mucosa it becomes brick red it because this is because increased hemoglobin oxygen saturation and venous blood. Eyes, what will happen to, exactly to the eyes? Let us look at the eyes. Now the eyes will be glassy and prominent unreactive dilated pupils. Glassy, prominent, dilated pupils. Coming to kidney, there is metabolic acidosis. There is acidosis in the kidney. Accumulated lactic acid. So there is anaerobic oxidation of pyruvic acid leading to accumulated lactic acid and metabolic acidosis. Okay, so all this is happening in what? In cyanide poisoning. So let us look at this. <laughs> Clinical features, some specific things are Reddish discoloration, that is uh, brick red discoloration of skin and mucosa, 
almond odor like we told you already bitter almond odor should remember bitter 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 almond odor make this brown bitter almond odor brick red discoloration all this will be there so that will that's how you will diagnose <clears throat> there's something called as a lee jones test for diagnosis there's something called as a lee jones test okay so in this what happens a few crystals of ferrous sulfate are added to 5 mg mL of gastric aspirate followed by wait uh, so first what you do you take uh, gastric uh, aspirate okay gastric aspirate you take then 5 ml of that you take and you add ferrous sulfate to it okay and then you add two drop uh, five drops of 2% naoh and boil it and cool it so what and all you are doing take gastric aspirate 5 ml 5 ml of gastric aspirate you take add ferrous sulfate and then you add uh, and then you add what sodium hydroxide naoh 2% naoh okay now what you do you boil and cool you boil and cool okay so then you have to add the 10 drops of hcl then you add hcl to neutralize i guess and observe color change greenish blue color indicates cyanide greenish blue get us a greenish blue greenish blue more colors please greenish blue somewhere here so cyan color cyan color oh interesting this is a cyan color greenish blue right so greenish blue cyan color kind of greenish blue maybe that's why it's called cyanide okay now that was about the uh, lee jones test then you can also say check the serum uh, cyanide level so you can see that in serum cyanide what is the level you can check okay then coming to treatment treatment is the most important for the exam so pay attention here to treatment of cyanide poisoning guys so basically <clears throat> what is happening in this uh, mechanism of action you understand hemoglobin is actually bound to oxygen more okay hemoglobin in vein also there is oxygen okay in vein also there is oxygenated blood because cells are not getting oxygen the cells are not getting oxygen the oxygen is remaining with hemoglobin so the principle of treatment is that you give the person nitrates give nitrates these will convert hemoglobin to methemoglobin and methemoglobin will become cyan methemoglobin and cyan meth hemoglobin is not toxic okay so what happens the hemoglobin gets converted to meth hemoglobin and meth hemoglobin has higher affinity for cyanide and it becomes cyan meth hemoglobin so cyanide cytochrome cyanide cytochrome complex what was there will dissociate you understood right the cyanide cytochrome complex will dissociate so you will get cytochrome will become free and hence there can be again oxidative phosphorylation atp production etc so what are the other treatments you will give supportive supportive treatment you will give supportive treatment will be like the supportive treatment is like remove the patient at once to fresh air in case of respiratory arrest start holger nielsen method for artificial respiration and give oxygen see holger nielsen method of art artificial respiration you should give so principle is very important remember i uh, mean the treatment is very important so we're looking at the supportive treatment so what will all you will do to this guy so this guy what you will do you will give him uh, you will remove him to fresh air start artificial respiration oxygen administration the artificial respiration method is called as holger nielsen method of artificial respiration okay then you will give him oxygen gastric lavage you will do then you will give activated charcoal uh, that is a universal antidote you will get 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide sodium thiosulfate K, uh, potassium permanganate etc so that um, you can have gastric lavage then you will do transfusion 
blood administration. You will give blood. Oh, nice. You will give blood transfusion. So what and all you saw in supportive so far? Bring him to fresh air. Give him artif artificial respiration. Give him oxygen. Gastric lavage you will do. Gastric lavage using potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide, sodium theosulfate, etc. Exchange transfusion, that is blood transfusion you will do. Then, if the methemoglobin is greater than 50%, then only you will do blood transfusion. Blood transfusion if, if methemoglobin is greater than 50%. Okay, then dicobalt EDTA, it chelates cyanide. So you will give this um, EDTA, dicobalt, that is EDTA, dicobalt is high EDTA, dicobalt EDTA. This is what a chelating agent. So this chelating agent, the metal, it will go and bind to the cyanide, right? But this is not a metal actually. It binds to cyanide, it chelates cyanide and you can... Uh, repeat this therapy again. If death is delayed, then chemical antidote of sodium carbonate, ferrous sulfate, citric acid to given to form Prussian blue. Keep patient under observation. You can give antidote. What is the antidote? Antidote they are saying is sodium carbonate, then ferrous sulfate, then Citric acid. Okay. Some antidote you can give. Okay. Keep the patient under observation. That and all we'll do. Uh, specific treatment. What is the specific treatment for uh, cyanide poisoning? Guys, wake up. We're looking at the, we finished the supportive therapy. Now we're looking at the specific. Actually, this EDTA and all is specific only. Now, why they put in supportive? Okay. So, specific they are saying is uh, amyl nitrate in handkerchief. And hold it to his nose. Okay. Hold over the nose. Amyl nitrate. Nitrate, we have already told you. What nitrate does? It converts hemoglobin to methemoglobin, which will bind to cyanide and become cyanmethemoglobin, which is not toxic. So specific you will give is amyl nitrate handkerchief. Okay. Then give sodium nitrite given slow IV. What is that? Sodium nitrite. IV you will give. Then repeat nitrite theosulfate injection. Theosulfate converts cyanide to non-toxic theocyanide. So if you give theosulfate, it converts cyanide into Theocyanide, which is good for us. It's non-toxic. I know you can't see. Hold on, I'll zoom. Theosulfate converts cyanide into theocyanide, which is non-toxic. Then hydrox hydro hydrooxocobalamine is infused IV. Hydro oxo hydroxo Cobal amine IV you will give. Okay. So this detoxifies cyanide by give uh, you can do. Then what else? It will form cyanocobal amine, which is non-toxic. Give cyanocobal amine, which is non-toxic. This sounds like vitamin B12, right? Cyanocobal amine. Okay, so these are the specific treatments: nitrates and nitrites, amyl nitrite. Amyl nitrate, sodium nitrite, theosulfate, and hydroxocobalamine. Okay. So, this was about the treatment for uh, cyanide poisoning. Guys, hope you have understood the treatment. Now, we will move on to the next part here. What is the next part? Next part is post mortem appearance and medico legal significance. We'll take that in the next slide. S cyanide poisoning. Take this photo also. Let's continue with the postmortem appearance. We already know brick red uh, discoloration of the skin and all that. Bitter almond taste. That also you know. Cyanosis of the extremities. 
So extremities will be cyanosed. Put some blue color here. So the extremities are cyanosed. Extremities are cyanosed. So these are the postmortem appearances. Bright glistening prominent eyes with dilated pupils. Bright glistening prominent eyes with the dilated pupils. Froth at mouth and nostrils. There is froth at the mouth and nostrils. Internally what you will see is bitter almond odor uh, in the brain also. Cherry red color blood. Cherry red color blood because it will have a lot of oxygen. Blood stained froth and trachea, bronchi, then hemorrhagic gastritis, pulmonary and cerebral edema, disseminated uh, petechial hemorrhages in brain, meninges, pleura, lungs and pericardium. So everywhere there will be hemorrhages. Okay. So oxygen will be more so everywhere you will see bright red, uh, ch uh, bright cherry red color blood. What's the medical legal significance now? We are moving on to the medical legal significance of cyanide poisoning. It is an ideal suicide poisoning. You have seen in the movies, they will just take like this and they will die off the people when they are caught. So that is ideal suicide poisoning and it is preferred because of instant and painless death it causes. We really wonder if it is painless. Somebody will have to take it and tell us if it is really not at all painful. Wow. Homicidal use of cyanide is rare. Homicidal use is rare. Why? They don't want to kill without pain maybe. <laughs> cyanide gassing is more uh, judicial execution also they will use it. Okay. So that was the medical legal significance. So some basic things uh, that uh, people might have come here for is what is cyanide? Cyanide will be this kind of a uh, carbon and nitrogen. This is cyanide and the sources will be like uh, seeds of uh, apple, right? Uh, almond, then uh, cherry. So that is why they keep saying this bitter uh, almond taste, bitter almond odor, bright cherry red color in the blood. But that cherry red color is because of oxygen anyways. Okay, so these are the sources. So we are done with the <clears throat> video on cyanide poisoning forensic topic. So let us uh, just take a quick recap here. So cyanide poisoning, basically cyanide is an asphyxiant. Cyanide is an asphyxiant, right? So basically this is the structure of hydrogen cyanide and gas it can be hydrogen cyanide, the liquid hydrocyanic acid and solid salts of cyanide. The sources can be bitter almond, bitter almond remember bitter almond, cherry, seeds of apple uh, etc. Now mechanism of action will be they inhibit cytochrome oxidates so the oxidative phosphorylation cannot happen no ATP so at the cellular level it works there will be histotoxic anoxia. That's why it is an asphyxiant, histotoxic anoxia. Clinical features are like uh, bright red discoloration of the skin and the mucosa, methemoglobin um, and then bitter almond odor. Okay, bitter almond odor. A lot of other clinical features with, will be there like this, peripheral uh, cyanosis, vomiting, nausea, then uh, uh, hypertension, uh, blade reflex, bradycardia, dyspnea, um, tachypnea. Then uh, kidney, what did they say about kidney? Metabolic acidosis, eyes will be prominent, pupils dilated, then uh, gastric will be bitter, acidic, burning taste, numbness and, and constriction of the throat, nausea, vomiting we told, uh, ventricular dysrhythmias, uh, he's going to faint, prostration, confusion, convulsion, coma, all this will happen. So here we are, now go back. And look at, uh, continue with the diagnosis. Diagnosis, you have Lejeune's test where you will put the gastric aspirate with ferrous sulfate and uh, uh, sodium hydroxide, boil and cool, neutralize with the acid. So you will get greenish blue color. So that is why it is cyan, cyan, cyan is the blue color. Uh, serum cyanide level also you can check as a diagnosis. Okay. So we are done with the clinical features and diagnosis. Now let us look at the treatment. Very important for exam. The treatment part is very important. So treatment here, the principle is to give nitrate so that you can convert hemoglobin into methemoglobin. Methemoglobin has affinity for cyanide, so it will be converted into cyanmethemoglobin, which is not toxic, okay? And cyanide will be removed from the cytochrome, so cytochrome can work properly now. Supportive, you will give him fresh air, uh, uh, artificial respiration, oxygen. You will do gastric lavage, you can do blood transfusion if methemoglobin is greater than 50%. You will give him chelating agents like dicobalt EDTA. You can give antidote like sodium carbonate to reverse the 
acidosis is correct ferrous sulfate etc specifically what treatment you will give nitrate and nitrite for cyanide poisoning amyl nitrate in handkerchief you can keep to the nose sodium nitrite you can give iv theosulfate will convert the cyanide into theocyanide which is not toxic hydroxo cobalamine will convert it into cyano cobalamine which is again non toxic so that was about uh, the treatment for uh, cyanide poisoning guys then moving on we saw the post mortem appearance in cyanide poisoning all that uh, uh, bitter almond odor bright red staining post mortem staining will be bright red right brick red cyanosis of extremities will be there prominent eyes dilated pupils froth by from mouth and nostril internally you will see that um, there is a uh, uh, bitter almond odor even in the brain then hemorrhagic gastritis petechiae will be there everywhere petechial hemorrhages in brain meninges pleura lungs pericardium pulmonary edema cerebral edema can be there medico legal significance usually it is used as suicide like they show in the movies homicidal is rare they are saying and uh, in judicial execution in america they use uh, cyanide gas okay so that was about cyanide hope you enjoyed uh, this video on cyanide poisoning we'll meet you in the next video bye bye